Hi and welcome students. Today's video is going to cover downloading and uploading. I'm going to go over a presentation on what those two terms are, what they mean, and at the end of the presentation I'm going to show you how to download and upload using the internet browser Google Chrome. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first term that I'm going to go over is downloading. Downloading means receiving data or file from the internet onto your computer. So think of the cloud as an external server. So you're taking the information, whether it's a data or file from somebody else's server and you are bringing it onto your own computer. Okay, and you, if you think of the external server as the cloud, it's easy to remember the term downloading because it's taking it from the cloud, which is above you, down to your computer. And so that's how you can remember what downloading is. So if it's coming from an external server to you, then it is downloading. How to download. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click the link. There's usually going to be a link that says click here to download or download here or it'll simply say download. Another uh, way you might see it is with the down arrow inside of the cloud like what you see on this presentation. When you click that link then you have to choose whether you want to open or save the file. If you choose to open the file it's going to open the file in whatever the default program that you have set up on your computer is. So if you click say a Microsoft Word file and the default program is Microsoft Word, it'll open it up in Microsoft Word. If you click save, it's going to save the file and not open it into your downloads folder if you're using a Windows 10 PC. Now uploading is the opposite. Uploading means sending data from your computer to somewhere on the internet. So that could be something as simple as taking a picture from your computer and uploading it to Facebook, right? If you change your picture on Facebook, that means the file is going from your computer on your own uh, hard drive out to the cloud, right? Up to the cloud uh, onto Facebook servers. So uh, that would be an example of uploading, okay? And so I'm going to show you an example uh, in just a little bit about how to download and upload uh, to a Microsoft OneDrive, which is a cloud-based storage system. So how to upload? You're going to first need to find the upload link. This is usually signified with a cloud with the up arrow or it'll say upload here. Okay, so you have to find that link. It has a couple different symbols. It may even just be an up arrow. And so once you find that link, you have to select the file that you want to choose. So you need to know where that file is at, and then you need to go through and select the file. Uh, you also have an option on some websites to take the file from your file explorer and drag and drop it into the website. And then when you get done with that, you click open and then it should upload. So now I'm going to go over how to do this on Google Chrome. So you guys could see here, I'm in Google Chrome and I'm using Microsoft OneDrive. Uh, I'm in my folder called downloading and uploading and I'm going to upload, mean take it from my computer and put it onto the cloud. Uh, and I'm going to upload the PowerPoint presentation that you just saw. So to do that in Microsoft OneDrive, I need to go right up here to upload and I click upload and I'm going to choose files. Okay, so first thing again, you have to find the upload link. This could be on any website. And so you click files, and then you would choose the location. I've saved this to my desktop. So you would go through, you choose your location, and you click it, and you click the file, and then you click open. All right, after you click open, it'll say uploading right up here, and then it'll let you know that you've uploaded the file, okay? Uh, once you get that done, you'll see that the file will appear right here. Now I use this as the example because now, I, since this is a cloud-based storage system, I can open this file from any other computer. I just need to log into my OneDrive account, and then uh, I can go ahead and download the file, again, from Microsoft servers, onto my own computer. So let's say I go to a different computer, I want to use this file now, and so now I need to download it. First thing I need to do, click on this checkbox to let me know uh, that that's the file that I want to download, and then I go right up here to download. And I click download, and in Google Chrome it's going to open up a little box down here in the bottom left. This little box tells you that your file is now downloaded. If it wasn't fully downloaded it would have a circle here and it may take longer for higher media files. At that point once it's downloaded you have two options. You could either click anywhere in the box on the left side over here to open the file or you could click this little up arrow. This little up arrow gives you the option to open it to always open files of this type, so to automatically open up PowerPoint files in this case, or to show in folder. Right now I'm going to click show in folder to tell you where the uh, downloads automatically go on Windows 10. 
And so if you click show in folder, it's going to open up this folder here, which you guys will notice is my downloads folder. So in my downloads folder, there's my file. Now I can either open it from here or again from Google Chrome by clicking right there. And it's going to open up the file. Okay, and so you guys can't see it right now because it's opening up on my other monitor, but I'll bring it right over and you guys can see there is my file. It has been downloaded onto this computer now. Okay, so hopefully this video has taught you a little bit about how to uh, download and upload a file using Google Chrome, as well as what the two terms mean and kind of a little bit on the background on what's actually happening when you download and upload a file. So if this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please put it in the comment section. And I'll try to help you out. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.